Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means time for my Survivor recap. Wow is all I have to say about tonight. Um, the Orange team, it's really clear that there's a girls' alliance, and I gotta give the girls credit. They are really dominating out here. This might be a, t a season where we actually have a female winner. Wouldn't that be something? Krishma feels like she's on the outs, even though she's in a dominating alliance right now because she feels like she doesn't fit in even though she does and um Aaron and the guys are worried about a girls alliance so they want to get the guys together but Vince makes a good point they never talked strategy with them before so why would he want to vote with them so he wants to um go to the dominant alliance with the girls with purple tribe this mind boggles me because they were so quick to get rid of Molly last week saying that she's Parvati 2.0 and the big thing was either Nora or Molly now this week they're saying oh Nora's gotta go next Nora's gotta go next like guys you literally just had your chance last week to get out Nora and you chose not to so wow Jamal then wants to do what's best for him and he then approaches Janet about maybe that Dan might actually be a more better vote because he's kind of has that presence around camp that makes everyone uneasy and he kind of has like a as he put it like a car salesman type pitch to him so it's kind of hard to trust him um, I seriously thought there was going to be a med medevac this episode because Krishma cut her finger and I could see bone. I really thought, oh my god, this is going to be the medevac of the season. Not that they're supposed to be or anything like that. I just thought, oh my god. So Vince actually gets to go to the Island of the Idols. And I'm like, oh, this will be interesting because Sandra really liked him at the One Tribal Council. So his lesson, and this is a Survivor epic moment... His lesson is to stay calm under pressure. He has to go to the other tribe's camp and retrieve fire. If he does it without getting caught, he receives an immunity idol that's good for two tribal councils. If he gets caught, well, he gets caught, he gets nothing then. So they're teaching him how to be sneaky and everything around camp, and he succeeded. Like, I'm. Vince definitely gets MVP vo votes for that. That it was. Amazing. I don't think many of us would have been able to stay calm under pressure, especially there were certain points where they like jolted up and at one point it looked like somebody had a nightmare. So I thought, oh my god, he's screwed, but he earned an idol. So it's always great when you earn an idol, but the fact is you have to play that idol right. Um, on the, in the challenge, they have to, they're playing for comfort. And they have a swimmer go out and get a buoy, and then they have to balance on this teeter totter thing, get the um, untie the puzzle pieces down, and then solve a fish puzzle. And Orange Team had the lead for a while, but as they say later on, they've been dominating the physical part of the challenges, but when it comes to the puzzles, they suck. And Purple ends up winning. So the big names that are coming up is Karishma because she was the one of the people that um, fucked up the puzzle and that is a huge liability like if you if your tribe's going to challenge and say okay what can you do and you volunteer to go to the puzzle and you know you're not good at it then you're at fault then and you have to take responsibility for that what mind boggles me is how Dean's name wasn't coming up because at one point in the episode, Dean said, let's just split the votes in front of everybody in the tribe. So it's amazing how Dean's name's not coming up in this whole thing. Tom's name is coming up because he's an older guy and he's they think he won't do well in the challenges. Um, Vince is also coming. Vince's name is also coming up because he went to Island of the Idol. So they think that he might have an idol. So for Tribal Council, um, Karishma really wants to stay and she's getting upset because 
they're blaming the loss because of the puzzles. And it's true. I mean, they basically have the early lead, but then when they get to the puzzles, that's where everything falls apart. And Karishma definitely needs to own up to that and say, yeah, I fucked up. And this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Or if she gets voted out, then, you know, like, don't volunteer for something. Like, it's always better to sit out in a challenge if you feel like, I mean, this episode they couldn't because the, the, it was evenly numbered. But if you feel like that you aren't a good swimmer and it's a swimming challenge and puzzles, then volunteer to sit out. If you know you're not going to contribute to that team and you might be a liability out there for your own game, you might be actually beneficial to sit out. Um, it also comes up if they're going to vote as a team or as a group. And I think they're getting to that point. Like, do they want to keep their group strong or do they want to keep the tribe strong? Because they are coming up to a point where there's going to be possible tribe swaps and well, the merge is a couple episodes away, but where swaps could be coming. So Krishma then gets up to whisper to Elizabeth and I definitely agree with Tom. I definitely think she was putting on a show to like say, hey, I'm, I'm, I have to give her credit. I, no, she was, she wasn't even really fighting to be out there. Like she was complaining and everything to Vince. Like nobody likes me. I'm older and everything. Nobody came and seen if I was okay. I feel like Again, we don't see everything that goes on out there. So they may have just, um, they may have assessed her and they might have said, okay, she's okay. She's got it handled, you know. I mean, I don't think medical had to be called. I mean, I guess they had to be to wrap her pan, but um, she's definitely not on the ass. She's describing Elizabeth, Missy, and Chelsea as a sorority. I'm like, I don't get why they're doing that this season. They're part of a group, but yet they feel like, they're popular kids. I'm like, they're not. The Women's Alliance seems pretty tight. So I'm like, oh my God, Krishna's going to fuck up the vote here. So it ended up being Vince that got sent home. And he got sent home with an idol in his pocket. And I'm like, I could, I can't, I'm just like, why did you not play the idol? I mean, it's a blind side for a reason because he had no idea that his name was even being thrown out there. But, oh my God, it was only good for two tribal councils. So you have to take into consideration that your tribe might win the next time. So you might not only be able to use it this time around. Oh my God, I just can't believe that. That hard work, he put in so much effort to try to get fire, like proof. Keep in mind, he didn't get fire. He got ashes to prove he tried. And all that work for nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's always very... Um, good when someone finds an idol but it's like okay it's all sunshine and happiness when you find a, an idol but the next step is to play it right anytime when you feel like your name is being fetched out there just a little bit play the damn I idol it's better to play it wrong on yourself than to not play it at all and you get sent home and I still amazed how Dean's name did not come up at all. That was, he said right there, let's split the votes. Okay, then split the votes between Krishna and Dean then. That seemed more like a, like I, I could see why they'd split the votes between them. And now the fact that anybody who goes to Island of the Idols now is going to be a liability. They're going to think, oh, they might have an idol. Let's vote them out. We have an idol. Let's vote them out. They're not even thinking strategy. Like, Vince was actually a good ally for the ladies. They He wanted to work with them, but they decided to vote him out. Tom, an older guy, he's, um I think, doing the best he can in the challenges, but he's not the reason why people are losing. Karishma is the reason why they were losing because she's the one that goes up on the puzzles and she always blows it. So now they're going to keep somebody who keeps lo losing making the tribe lose, and then no wonder when they're down to two people, two or three people, why are we keep losing? So I definitely think Tom was right. They should get rid of the problem, but they didn't get rid of the problem. I think they created a bigger problem. 
So yeah, it should be interesting next week. It's definitely interesting this week. I feel so bad for Vince. I definitely hope he gets to come back and play again because he was funny as hell to watch. And just that epic moment alone, he should just come back and play again. I, I mean, wow. I feel so bad for him. He was in one of my draft picks that I'm apparently doing horrible this season. My main picks are okay, but I'm like, oh my god, Vince. So, hope you guys enjoyed Survivor. If you're going to catch Survivor, it's on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Until next time, stay regal.